Okay, one last rant. We're gonna we're gonna keep going with this because I I do have some shit to say. So, I've been having a conversation recently about how I think Black Americans specifically are like robots, are like the or the original robots or the original AI, artificial intelligence. And the reason that I think this is because like all of the infrastructure in America is built for white people. And it's built for white people to thrive. So if you're just born and you're white and you show up and you try and you don't do anything that's like really offensive, like kill anyone or sell drugs, but you could pretty, you could even use drugs. Like I know a ton of, like every white person I know in the middle class is like a cocaine user or I don't know, they're doing some type of other drug. And it's just like, they just do it casually, you know, but they still go to work and they still, you know, raise their families and shit. But like, they're definitely not like proper in all the ways that publicly they are proper. And I suppose maybe it's just me. Like I feel like I've, you know, opened the curtain of secrets or something <laughs> where other people have just never opened the curtain of secrets, which is why also I wanted to talk a lot really about my entire experience selling the car to Danny to just kind of like normalize, not this whole idea of like some white people are trash, but it's just like Danny, even with all of his privilege, he could have just asked his mom for the money, but instead he was just like, I'm going to be shitty and not do it, right? Totally a choice that he can make, and I definitely see him as an individual. I don't think everyone's like that, but I also think that, like, there was something in his, like, mental that was just kind of like, I can do this. This is fine. And he was going to tell him that it wasn't fine, like... I mean, I told him that it wasn't fine, but it still kind of feels like my opinion was like small in relation to like his world view and experiences that have like normalized his shitty behavior. Yet for some reason, everything that I have done, said, thought, propagated, other people have interpreted that I thought that I didn't even say, right? It's like I'm supposed to be scrutinized and criticized and punished and held accountable for all of those things where historically, like, no one's really been held accountable for anything that they've ever done to the Black American group specifically. Like, maybe some people are just getting so tired of me talking about race, but race is actually really critical when you think about, like, adulthood and life chances and outcomes. There's a lot of shit that, like, I feel like I'm responsible for as an individual where, like, I've worked really hard and I've gotten this thing and I see my work is specific, but then there's just also a lot of other things that have happened, like, outside of work specifically, like, as I enter a particular social class that's not due to marriage or another guy that's due to my own hard work and income that I've made, it is just so unfamiliar to so many people, right? There's something if you grow up in an upper middle class neighborhood and then you see, like you grow up with another black person who's also in that upper middle class neighborhood that you know. So like you've been socialized around this person your entire life. So you kind of like know what it's like to be around them. But what if like, I'm not that person, right? Like I, um, I don't actually think anyone really knows what my social class is growing up. I think a lot of people had assumptions about what it was, but they didn't really know. And uh, my mom is very private, so she wasn't going to, like, tell anyone. <laughs> so it's just kind of like everyone making assumptions about, like, what our particular social class is without having known. And also, like, I am a social class jumper and like a group jumper like where some people they stay in the same little bubble and they know the same people and that's their entire lived experience it's not really like that for me like I'm the person who knows people from all different social groups all different social classes all parts of the world all industries um sectors and um knowing them does not mean I like them uh let's make that clear that's another thing, too. I think people get really weirded out, like, when I just cut them out of my life. Like, just because I'm Facebook friends with you now and you're watching this video, don't assume that in two weeks you will still have access to my content because I might block you. Um, but where was I going with this? Professionalism. Yes, this is where I was going with this. So a lot of people have this idea because it is normalized and it does make sense that the way that someone is presenting themselves to you is the way that they are all the time to everyone else 
in all of life. Therefore, if someone is professional with you and the way that they treat you, they're like that all the time with all other people in all other scenarios. But we know that that's not true. This is why this entire uh, idea of cancel culture comes in where you have some people who are so surprised at bad behavior that they want to cancel someone because they in their mind had this mental image of who and what this person was and how they should and could behave. And when they actually saw that people are three dimensional and they can go through the entire spectrum of emotions and actions and they weren't prepared for that. They want to cancel the person altogether because of like one incident. I feel for myself as a canceled person, I see the harm in this. It actually isn't okay. Like if we live in a culture of cancel culture, all it means is like, it's just everyone waiting for the day that they're canceled because you're gonna do something that's gonna cross the line like you're gonna do something that's going to offend someone you're going to do something that's going to be taken out of context like there's always someone who is not going to like what you did or said now I don't know why like I don't understand also why we feel like we live in a world where you need to agree with everyone else like oh if, if people don't agree with me therefore they should die they should be canceled they should cease to exist It's not really how it works. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I guess, like, the Harvey Weinsteins of the world should probably be punished. But also, I feel like America should probably be punished for some of the, like, racial crimes against black people. Or police officers who over-police black communities. Or even, like, the fact that Flint still doesn't have clean water. Like, people should be punished for that, too. But, like... All of this exists at the same time. And can we talk about privilege for a second? Can we talk about privilege for a second? Like, I, I feel like, honestly, for a while, because I've been around so many people who've had so much more privilege than me, I try not to acknowledge my own privilege. But also, being around so so many people who've been able to social climb and also just coast off of their family's wealth it just kind of honestly it just makes me really sick it makes me really sad and it just makes me feel like I should normalize the hard work that I've done to acquire certain things to make it more realistic and possible that like if you work hard you can acquire things and like you're not like, just because you have nothing today doesn't mean that you will never have anything. Um, but also, people who have things in this country are very good at gaining more. And almost making making some people who don't have things feel like they will never have things, which is just not true. So, All of that is true at the same time. And that's what I had to say. <laughs>